Hi, Tracy Baker here for Baker Gets Cooking. Today we're going to make a breakfast sandwich. I call them bacon and eggers. Um, they're kind of like uh, egg McMuffins. Uh, my family prefers them made with um, just a bun, like a, a hamburger type bun. You can use whatever you like. If your family prefers uh, English muffins, make them with English muffins, whatever kind of works for you. So I love these because they're freezable and you can just pull them out and they're great for when you have to get out the door fast. So we've had them for breakfast sometimes, for lunch sometimes, and for supper sometimes. You know, those suppers that you need to get everybody fed and out the door to their activities uh, by 6.30 kind of thing. These are perfect for that. And they are quite filling, so they uh, fill up the t those little tummies. So we're going to start out with ramekins, these little glass ramekins that I have here. And they're about the same size as my buns. So, like kind of like that. So they fill up the entire surface. Uh, you can use uh, muffin tins with this to make this if you like. If that's all you have, if you don't have the ramekins, just use uh, muffin tins and spray them uh, well with uh, cooking spray first, as I have done with all these ramekins. So then I put a crack, cracked an egg into each of them. I sprinkled them with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I just scrambled them a little bit. So just, you know, with a fork and just break that yolk and mix it up a little bit into the white. They don't have to be scrambled really well, but just a, a little bit. You need to just break that yolk. So like that. Now these are then going to go into an oven uh, to cook. So 350 degree oven for about 20 to 30 minutes till they're set and cooked all the way through. So we'll be back in 20 minutes. My eggs are done. They took about 20 minutes to make, uh, to cook, and I'm just going to leave them set for about five minutes to just kind of cool off a little bit. The next step is the assembly of the, of the sandwich, and we're just about done. They go together really quickly. Now today I'm making, uh, most of these will be made with bacon, which I've uh, put, cooked in the oven um, till it was crispy and delicious. And, um, and then I have also made this with ham. So this is just like deli ham, sliced deli ham. And then I like to take a cookie cutter, a round cookie cutter, and I just like to, to uh, cut a round of ham that fits exactly on the bun. And I'll reserve those bits to make uh, an omelet or something like that. So then we just get a bun. You can put butter on it if you want. I'm not going to. And then with a knife, you just kind of go around the side and it comes out perfectly like that. So the egg on the, on the bun and then the ham on top of that or bacon. And then I have some sliced uh, white cheddar. We like white cheddar. Uh, use whatever cheese you like. I don't particularly like the uh, the plastic cheese, uh, so I wouldn't use that ever. And then, like that. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble all nine of these. Same thing, just repeated. So I have all nine of my sandwiches assembled. Now, if you wanted to eat these uh, right away, you can do that. I, what I would do is I would uh, line a baking sheet with tin foil and uh, put another piece of tin foil over the top and just put them in the oven for, you know, uh, five minutes or so until the, the cheese was melted and they were heated all through. Um, I would do that at like, you know, 350 degrees would be fine. But I'm going to freeze these like they are and then my kids are going to use them for breakfasts or suppers this week. And all you need to do is take them frozen out of the, fr of the freezer and put them in the microwave for, uh, you know, a minute. And it heats up perfectly and it tastes delicious and it's super filling. And I think it's great to have in the freezer. Or you can take uh, the whole lot of them frozen and, and do the same thing on the, on the baking sheet with uh, tin foil. So I'm going to keep one out 
because I've got one kid to feed. I'm going to just wrap that in the, in the tin foil and I'm going to put that in the oven for about five minutes until the cheese is melted, like that. And I'm going to put the rest of them in the freezer. So I have a freezeable container here and I have a piece of parchment in the bottom. And the parchment just helps them not stick to the container so you can actually get them out. And I'm just going to pop them in there, like so. Lid on, freeze them like that, and they're perfect. So I think this is a terrific breakfast, brunch, lunch, supper, whatever you want to have in your freezer. It saves a ton of time. It gets nutritious food into their bellies, food that's not processed or full of bad stuff. Um, it's homemade. It's hearty. I hope your family likes this as much as my family does. You can get the recipe from my blog. It'll, the link will be uh, underneath the video. And thanks for tuning in. See you again next time. Bye.